Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video on Dungeonborn, I'm going to be showing you a very easy, very uh, small cost build to be able to farm the classic mode as a rogue. And I'm going to be showing you briefly how to do it. So the first thing we're going to want to do, we want these two abilities, just the first one. We want Stealth Break Venom, which will deal poison damage when you hit something in stealth. And then you want Evaporate, where you enter stealth after killing an enemy. Now the combination of these two, you can be invisible for very long periods of time, essentially. So we're going to try and build for that. Now, we're going to go over here. We're just going to grab a green dagger here. This gives a little bit extra dexterity. Helmet. We're going to go over here. Now, I could upgrade these if I feel like it, but I'm not going to. I don't need to. So we're going to put plus six strength on this helmet because we want strength and dex. So we'll put that on here. And then we're going to go over here, and we want a dexterity necklace. So ten dexterity and six strength. So I've got three, uh, three heirlooms here, and you can see I now have this active. Perfect. Now what I need is I need five dexterity. So there's a few ways I can get five dexterity. Let me uh, actually see if I have any of these sitting here. Dexterity. So you can see I have two rings. Either one will work here. Just put that on. And check out how simple of a build this is. Now this build, you've got literally four green items and you have two of these active. And those are the two that we really want. And if you look over here, gear score, we have a score of eight. So that'll get us into the castle here. If you're doing classic, you would have to throw on something that's a little bit better. You know, I could go over here and I could throw on a green dagger. And now my gear score is 10. So that's still a very, very simple build here. Just going to bring a few heals with me here. And then we're going to go ahead and head on in. Now with this build, this is not a PvP build, at least not with this gear. If you're going to build this for PvP, there's much better things that you would want. This is just a very basic, you have very little good gear, you want to get some and so you want a riskless version of classic that's what this is now this strategy is going to be more of a hide and stealth build versus you know some people like to play very aggressive this is more of a i don't want to call it a passive build but basically we're going to sneak around the map backstabbing everything is going to be the goal here so I'll go ahead and skip forward just a little bit until we're actually in. That way you don't have to wait. Okay, guys, we are in. You can see same build, very basic. But we're now in on the higher difficulty being classic. So basically what we're going to do here, where are all the enemies? So you see how even killing a bat, you turn invisible after anything that you kill. Oh dang, two elixirs right off the bat. That's really nice. Okay. Normally there's more enemies out here. There we go. So basically the way you're going to want to do this. This is the easiest way. You're going to turn invisible. You're going to, if you can, backstab them. I totally missed that one. These guys have really weird hitboxes sometimes. I must be lagging or something. Okay, that's weird. Let's see if I can hit something else. Yep, I can hit other things. That thing must be, I don't know, dead in place or something. But this is more what you're supposed to do. So. Yeah, there's that bat. Essentially, you go invisible, you stab something in the back. Let me toss all this. 
So here we go. We've got a few skellies in here. You're going to trigger them. You're going to get them to walk a little bit towards you. Turn invisible. And then you have the chance to backstab. If they go down like this, you just want to, if possible, find their head. This one's head looks like it's underneath. Oh man, my game is very glitchy right now. There we go. If you can get behind them and backstab them, that is the easiest. Um, it's not working for me because when I did, it was very glitchy. But there we go, turn invisible. There we go, got a backstab. If you do it right, it oftentimes will stagger them with those backstabs, which makes it possible to get a bunch of them in. Wow, that's a lot of death already. There we go. Killed that. So that one hurt a little bit. That's why we brought these, though. But... Where did it even... There we go. That was annoying. Yeah, sorry guys, my game is very glitchy right now. So this video is not turning out near as good as it should. But you get the base, you rapid attacks, you know, Get your uh, sneak attacks in as much as you can. Looks like I probably killed that guy and he's just still standing up for some reason. But with this build, definitely if you are coming near a player, you're not going to want to engage because this build is not a PvP build. It is most definitely a PvE build. So here you're going to see some real um, use of this now here. See if some if this decides it wants to come attack. So we're gonna go invisible. So it's gonna be right in front of us here. If it'll stop moving, we're gonna backstab it. There we go. We go back invisible, and then you're gonna want to see if you can get a backstab on this. Nope. But I got a handful of hits off. Ooh, the lag. Okay, when visible. There we go. Now, you're invisible. He turns around. Backstab. He's poisoned. Backstab again. He just died from the poison. Poison. There we go. Okay. Now oh, we got a blue sword. We'll switch that out. Okay. So you can see, you know, the base of this build is just stealth. I mean, obviously, you can fight with the daggers, but in a PvP fight, you're most likely not going to win using daggers unless you get a backstab when they're already low so here we got some goblins it staggers them you just hit him again hit him again hit him a third time now he's dead this guy's next Uh, I think I hear someone. Oh, 
Oh, it might just be the boss down there. No, I must definitely hear someone. Now with me. Oh, there's a chest I missed. I like to close doors behind me. It helps alert me if people are coming. And then I've noticed a lot of these will tend to open um, the storm, like when it comes. So you can see I just found a little perch up here. There's a little hidey spot if you want to ambush someone. Or in my case, you know, I've got an inventory full of okay loot. You know, I got blue item, another blue item here, lots of greens, a few syllables. I'm just going to wait for this to open here and then we're going to escape. But that's the base of the build is you just go around, you loot, you get out. Um, really simple, kind of, I don't want to call it noob build, but it's good for new players, people who are struggling a little bit, uh, especially with this mode since it's a lot harder. Um, these daggers, like these are just green daggers, these are absolutely nothing special. Just these two abilities are what you're going to really need. But I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know below in the comments. Please like and subscribe and continue to support my channel. The more support I get, the more videos I will keep making for you guys. And please stay tuned. Let me know if there's uh, any other videos you guys want to see as well. Because I will be happy to make more if you want to see me stream or just random things, different builds, how to take down a boss, anything like that, let me know and I'll see if I can get that out for you.